Dead Island was one of those childhood games that I really wasn't allowed to play much, but it always left a positive impression in my mind. And so now, over 11 years later, Dead Island 2 is finally nearing its release. And so, I decided to revisit the original and see how the story, gameplay, and feeling of it all holds up in 2023. I decided to roll with the definitive edition, but the jankiness still shines. The Techland jank, as we like to call it. It really all made sense after playing this why they didn't make many cinematic cutscenes for Dying Light, because those face animations sure are something. <laughs> they believe if they'd eat. And oh yeah, there's a lot of talking in this game, and I had to listen to it all. The skip button, no, it just didn't work. I tried on my controller, I tried on my PC, none of it worked, so I was forced to listen to every bit of soul-torturing dialogue. At least the cutscenes are hilarious. You see any mummies? That was fucking voodoo. Ah yes, gotta love the wackiness. Driving is an absolute blast, and a lot of the time you can drive anywhere. It really does add a huge sense of adventure to exploring the island, and it is pretty damn overpowered for getting away from zombies. Hopefully, cars do return in the sequel, but apparently they won't, which is a shame. Overall, though, the scale of that island is a lot more large than I remembered as a young little lad. You have tribes of the jungle, bandits in the city, beach freaks, and so on, but simply the location variety is very impressive. Some areas are more fun than others, but it does feel refreshing when exploring the island and many of the cool interiors. The city area, from my experience, had a lot of intense encounters. Rather, it was running into a group of runner zombies or trying to help a survivor, which led to bandits ambushing me. Encounters that are entirely scripted, but felt nice when found naturally. From the beach, to the city, to the jungle, to the sewers, to the prison, every area was good in their own ways. If I had to choose a least favorite though, it goes to the jungle. It does have some nice village encounters though with the human enemies. There were a few missions there and some bandit camps that I had a lot of fun with. Some felt like a weird low budget Call of Duty mission, but I really just felt like this place was kind of a slog. Running around and fixing fire hydrants in the city isn't fun, alright, but the jungle was very unmemorable in my eyes. On the other hand, the prison area towards the end of the game was a nice surprise I completely forgot about, but I definitely did soon remember why there were complaints about that difficulty spike at the end because wow, they throw a lot at you. The humans become a lot more bullet spongy which eventually becomes annoying, but nothing was as lame as that final boss fight. I haven't played Riptide before, but overall, I feel like this ending is extremely lackluster, and kind of takes itself way too seriously for its own good. Death. Go on now, and don't you lose hope. Live your life. Yeah. <laughs> I respect Dead Island 2 a lot for embracing that goofiness for what it is because I really feel like these intense moments here just don't work. Maybe it's the bad lip syncing and face animations or the cheesy writing, but it really just doesn't work. But hey, the soundtrack is good. One thing I didn't get to experience for the video was co-op, but I do plan on trying that when I play Riptide for the first time in a video of its own. I am really glad I took the time to revisit this game because there were a lot of key moments that stood out to me that caught me by surprise. So yeah, I'd say it's worth revisiting in 2023. If you want a straightforward but goofy zombie slashing experience that, as I said, takes itself way too seriously. The island itself is fairly large with a good amount of variety, with there being a solid selection of weapons to use and different zombies to kill. I personally do think Dying Light takes a leap forward in just about every way, but this game is a great foundation worth playing for yourself. I never really encountered any game-breaking issues or many issues at all, besides the missions being really just a bunch of fetch quests. But what you do along the journey is what matters. That is all for me for today, folks. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you want, and stop by for the next one.